everyone our topic for this video is finding the zeros intercepts and asymptotes of rational function for each given functions determine the zeros x-intercept y-intercept vertical asymptote and horizontal asymptote let us have number one f of x equals x minus three over x plus three first let us get the zeros or the value of x that can make our function zero by equating the numerator to zero so our numerator is x minus three equals zero transpose negative three this will be positive three therefore three is the zero of the function next is x intercept since 3 is a real zero of the function therefore 3 is also an x intercept so x is equal to 3 next is y intercept and that can be solved by substituting x with 0 f of x equals x minus 3 over x plus 3. This will be f of 0 equals 0 minus 3 over 0 plus 3 equals 0 minus 3 is negative 3 over 0 plus 3 is 3 equals negative 3 divided by 3 is negative 1 therefore negative 1 is the y-intercept of the function next is vertical asymptote to solve this we have to equate the denominator to 0 x plus 3 is equal to 0 transpose 3 this will be negative 3 therefore the line x equals negative 3 is a vertical asymptote of the graph of f of x last but not the least the horizontal asymptote in finding the horizontal asymptote we need to identify n or the degree of the numerator d degree of denominator if n is lesser than d the horizontal asymptote is y equals zero if n is equal to d the horizontal asymptote is y equals the leading coefficient of the numerator over the leading coefficient of the denominator if n is greater than d there is no horizontal asymptote in our function the degree of the numerator is 1 so n is equal to 1 and the degree of our denominator is also 1. Therefore, our horizontal asymptote is y equals the leading coefficient of numerator divided by the leading coefficient of denominator. y equals a n over a sub d. The leading coefficient of our numerator is 1 and the leading coefficient of our denominator is also 1. y equals 1 over 1 is 1. Therefore, the horizontal asymptote is the line y equals 1. Our second example is f of x equals x plus 5 over x squared minus 3x minus 10. First, let us identify the zeros. 
So, to get that, equate the numerator to 0. x plus 5 is equal to 0. Transpose 5, this will be x is equal to negative 5. Therefore, negative 5 is the 0 of the function. Next is the x-intercept. This is also x equals negative 5. Next is the y-intercept. And that can be solved by substituting 0 to x. f of x is equal to x plus 5 over x squared minus 3x minus 10. Substitute all x with 0. f of 0 equals 0 plus 5 over 0 squared minus 3 times 0 minus 10 equals 0 plus 5 is 5 over 0 squared is 0 minus 3 times 0 is 0 minus 10 equals 5 over 0 minus 0 is 0 minus 10 negative 10. Reduce to lowest term by dividing both the numerator and denominator with 5. This is 5 divided by 5 is 1. Negative 10 divided by 5 is negative 2 or negative 1 half. Therefore, negative 1 half is a y-intercept of the function. Next is vertical asymptote and that can be solved by equating the denominator to 0. x squared minus 3x minus 10. This is the denominator. To get the values that will make it 0, we have to do factoring. We have x squared is x times x. And we also have to find factors of negative 10 that when added will be equal to the second term negative 3 negative 5 times 2 negative 5 times 2 is negative 10 negative 5 plus 2 is negative 3 therefore our factors are x minus 5 and x plus 2 Equate to 0, x minus 5 is equal to 0. This is x equals 5 and x plus 2 equals 0. This is x equals negative 2. The lines x equals 5 and x equals negative 2 are the vertical asymptotes of the graph of the function. Lastly, horizontal asymptote. Recall that if n or the degree of the numerator is lesser than the degree of the denominator, the horizontal asymptote is y equals 0. If n is equal to d, the horizontal asymptote is y equals the leading coefficient of the numerator over the leading coefficient of the denominator. And if n is greater than d, there is no horizontal asymptote. The degree of our numerator is 1. And the degree of our denominator is 2. So, n is lesser than d. That means our horizontal asymptote is y equals 0. Therefore, the line y equals 0 is a horizontal asymptote of the function.
I hope that you learned how to solve zeros, intercepts, and asymptotes of rational function. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more math tutorials.